Hi everyone, it's Bree here. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today we're going to talk about Soyeji and the controversy she's recently become embroiled in. So a quick disclaimer, all of the statements surrounding Soyeji in this video are alleged and shouldn't be taken as facts. I'm simply going to lay out the information that's out there, give my honest opinion, and you all can come to your own conclusions about the situation. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video, but before we do, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'm saying I, I don't wanna come down from you. We'll get lost together, let me fight. So who is Soyeji? Soyeji is a 31-year-old South Korean actress who began her acting career in 2013. Soyeji is probably most known for her role as Ko Moon Young in the popular drama It's Okay Not To Be Okay. In the drama, she played an authoress with a troubled past and personality disorder, starring alongside actor Kim Soo Hyun, who played a mental hospital employee, who was her long-lost childhood friend and love interest. The K-drama soared in popularity and became one of the top dramas in Asia due to the incredible acting by the co-stars in the cast, as well as the undeniable good looks looks and chemistry between Kim Soo Hyun and So Ye Ji. In the midst of being nominated for Best Actress by the Big Song Arts Awards for her role in It's Okay To Not Be Okay, So Ye Ji has recently come under fire. So what happened? Dispatch recently revealed that So previously dated Kim Jong Hyun. If you're not familiar with Kim Jong Hyun, he starred in the popular K-drama Crash Landing on You. According to Dispatch, So is the reason why Kim Jong Hyun had numerous conflicts on the set of the 2018 drama Time, a drama he starred in with Girls' Generation So Hyun, and eventually abruptly left the cast. Kim Jong Hyun's sudden departure and seemingly cold demeanor towards So Hyun on set and at press conferences drummed up controversy at the time, but the controversy died down when Kim's agency released a statement saying that his departure was due to health reasons. Dispatch recently revealed a series of text messages between So Ye Ji and Kim Jong Hyun in 2018, during the time that the K-drama Time was being shot. In the messages, So asks Kim to refrain from physically touching or participating in any romantic scenes with So Hyun at all while filming Time. Because of this, 13 scenes, including physical contact between the two main characters, had to be changed drastically. For example, in the original script for episode 9 of Time, So Hyun helps up an inebriated Kim Jong Hyun from the hallway of his apartment building, takes him inside his house, and lays him down on the sofa. But in the broadcasted version of the episode, So Hyun simply tells him to get up from a distance, and the scene ends in the hallway. A staff member on set at the time revealed, he kept asking for changes in the script on set. He stressed the importance of platonic love and asked to have any physical contact taken out. If things didn't go his way, he would suddenly run outside and start gagging. According to Dispatch, the staff were worried about Kim Jong Hyun at first, but they later grew suspicious when Kim Jong Hyun was seen looking at his phone at times. Some of the text messages between So Ye Ji and Kim Jong Hyun include text messages that say, How did you greet the staff? I didn't greet them at all. Sends a video taken on set. It's right for you to not greet the staff. If they greet you first, you have to respond stiffly. Allegedly, So Ye Ji constantly requested that he send her video and audio. Kim Jong Hyun secretly took videos on set with the camera facing the ground. Staff on the side of time also claimed that Kim Jong Hyun was extremely rude to So Hyun and that the whole situation humiliated her. According to staff on set, during a wedding scene, Kim Jong Hyun is seen not holding hands with So Hyun and continued to reject any physical contact with her. At one point, a staff member claimed that So Hyun cried after watching Kim Jong Hyun fiercely washing his hands with a wet napkin after he had to touch her hands during a scene. In response to Dispatch's reports, So Ye Ji's agency, Gold Medalist, released the following statement. Hello, this is Gold Medalist Co. Limited. This is an official statement regarding the recent reports about our agency's actor So Ye Ji. First of all, we apologize that it took a long time for an official statement to be released. After checking with Kim Jong Hyun's side, we received clear confirmation that the controversy regarding the drama did not occur because of So Ye Ji, and he expressed his intent to release his own statement regarding However, he expressed that it will take some time for the statement to be released because various issues are involved. As the controversy continues to heighten, we were told that it is alright for us to release our statement first, so we are releasing our statement now. We once again apologize for the delay in releasing a statement. In addition, we sincerely bow our head an apology for the absence today from the press conference for the film recalled, causing harm to staff and the other actors of the film as well as reporters. We are revealing her statement separate from Kim Jong Hyun's. It is logically difficult to accept the controversial report that a drama's leading actor would act exactly as told by someone else without 
without his own free will. It is not shown in the conversations that were revealed, but Kim Jung Hyun also made requests to So Ye Ji, who was filming a different drama, to not film kiss scenes. So So Ye Ji also told him, then you shouldn't do it either. Among conversations of lovers showing jealousy about each other's physical contact with others, this can be seen as a common fight between actors who are dating. However, all actors carry out filming normally, putting their quarrels with their partners aside. Kim Jung Hyun must have had an unavoidable personal matter. Moreover, the report contains private conversations between individuals that should not have been made public, and great misunderstandings seem to have been caused when that was not taken into consideration. Ultimately, we are deeply reflecting on having caused concern to many due to immature feelings regarding love. In light of the recent controversy, So Ye Ji has dropped out of her drama Island as well. Okay, so now I'll get into my opinion on this entire situation. First of all, as gold medalists commented in their statement, I think it was wrong for Dispatch to even release these text messages in the first place. Dispatch continues to invade the privacy of public figures, and I think it's gross. I wonder how they got the text messages in the first place. Now, if the text messages are real, then Saul is definitely displaying some controlling and manipulative behavior here. She should not have been interfering with Kim's role on the set of the drama, and she even went so far as telling Kim Jung Hyun not to greet the staff, which is obviously pretty rude and uncalled for. But on the other hand, Kim should have showed professionalism by sticking to the script and simply saying no to Seoul if all of this really did occur, since I'm sure he knew he would be expected to do romantic scenes with So Hyun when he accepted the role in the first place. I honestly feel horrible for So Hyun in this situation. I'm sure the entire ordeal was humiliating to her, and I'm sure she was wondering why Kim was being so cold to her. In addition, gold medalist Seoul's agency is saying that not all of the text messages were shown, and that Kim also asked Seoul to refrain from romantic scenes in her roles as well. So if that's true, this was a mutually toxic situation between the two of them. Unfortunately, there's two sides to every story, and then there's the truth. I also think this entire situation will make more sense when Kim Jong Hyun's agency releases a statement because then we'll have two sides of the story and not just a statement from Seoul's agency. So the only people who really know what happened 100% are Seo Ye Ji and Kim Jong Hyun. I also want to point out that although it's not okay, I'm sure most adults have been in toxic or dysfunctional relationships before at some time in their lives. Whether you were the toxic one or your partner was, people are human beings and sometimes we treat people poorly. Sometimes love can turn into something darker, like an obsession. It's not okay by any means, but it does happen and that doesn't necessarily make you a horrible person. I do think the timing of this is a bit odd as well. So Ye Ji was nominated for a Boxing Arts Award in the midst of Dispatch revealing all of this information. Netizens are now running with this information and claiming So Ye Ji isn't too far from the character she played in It's Okay to Not Be Okay, saying that she has a history of dominating and controlling her other alleged celebrity exes as well, such as Yoon Ho from TVXQ and her co-star Kim Soo Hyun. In June of 2020, a reporter named Kim Yong Ho talked about So Ye Ji's character on a YouTube live stream, and this video has recently been brought up again. In his YouTube live, the reporter claimed that So Ye Ji had dated Kim Jong Hyun for a long time, and according to Kim Jong Hyun's acquaintances, the actor almost went crazy while dating So Ye Ji. The reporter continued, So, So Ye Ji almost entices men with her charms, almost dominates them. You'd understand if you watched It's Okay to Not Be Okay. One of the episodes I heard is that she would call her boyfriend and just yell fire and hang up. So the boyfriend would get surprised and run over to her. When they arrive, she's perfectly fine, but she would ask why it took them so long to get to her after hearing her scream. I can't help but to wonder, if this was a male actor we were talking about here, would the media villainize them for being so-called charming or dominating? We don't know if the allegations are true or not, but regardless, these accusations could really affect So Ye Ji when it seems she's just reached the height of her career, and that's really sad. This situation reminds me of what happened with Red Velvet's Irene and her stylist, and how quickly people jumped on painting Irene as a villain. Except in this case, it's not So Ye Ji's exes themselves claiming she had them, it's the media. In short, if the allegations are true, I obviously don't condone controlling or abusive behavior, but I don't think that this automatically means So Ye Ji should be labeled as a villain and a horrible person and that she no longer deserves to be an actress. To be honest, I wish Dispatch would stay out of celebrities' personal lives to brew up scandals and controversies. What do you think about this situation? Do you think So Ye Ji's career is at stake? Comment your opinions below and if you liked this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!